Y'all better tighten up. Careful here. What's up, Nate? What's up, Zach? Woo. Getting ready. Good to go. All right. What's up, guys? Tight lifestyle. Me and Big Drew. Big Drew, it's Friday already. It's Titan Lifestyle. Everything else might be closed, but we are still open. That's so right. That's right. Titan Medical Center is still open, banging it out. Plus, we're servicing everybody in the country nationwide with our normal services, hormone replacement therapy, males and females, medical weight loss, vitamin amino acid injectable therapies with the immune, immune boosters, uh, anti-aging, all those things, rejuvenation detox, plus primary care and urgent care. So if you guys got an ear infection, you guys think you guys got bronchitis, you guys got anything like this or need your other medications filled, Tight Medical Center can help you guys out anywhere in the country, plus blood draws. And we're doing the blood work special for males and females, so take advantage of it while we got it. 130 for males. 130 Jeez. for males, Real 200 cheap, for females. The females got a couple extra tests in there. That's why it's a little bit more expensive. Thank you guys for all joining us. Kelly, New Santos, how you doing? Ask Ask A99, Roman, how you guys doing out there? I appreciate you guys all tuning in, me and Big Drew. Thank you guys, and every Friday we're here for you guys. Yep. So we got a great show coming up for you guys, right? Yeah, great show, a lot of new stuff going on. Uh, like the Big Drew Lift Party is actually being postponed. It's still going on, but going to be postponed. Yep. I was going to have it as soon as the gyms open back up, yep. but I want to give you guys time to prepare. If you guys are like me, when you go to an event, you want to look good, you want to feel good. Yep. So I want to give, I'll give people at least three, maybe four weeks once everything is back open to get your body back on track, to get back into the swing of it, and yep. to put the word out there and come to the lift party. So I'm hoping by June, maybe the end of May, yep. but I'll let you guys know in the next couple of weeks. But as of right now, it is postponed. It's not happening tomorrow. Yep. So just keep keep me up, uh, keep updating me. Just look at look at my uh, story and see. I'll keep you po uh, updated as what's going on. So yep. hopefully June, but it is still going to go on. And actually, it's going to be better now because it's going to be more people, yep. more special guests. More free stuff yep. and more stuff going on better planning. So just yep. just wait. It's going to be crazy. It is happening in June. Yep. It's going down, guys. And we want to make sure you guys are all healthy. You guys are all safe out there. That's what me and Big Drew really want to worry about for you guys right now. Stay safe with your families, by yourself, whoever you're with. Take care of yourselves. And right now, if you're at home, don't waste the time, all right? You got to be at home anyway. Yeah. So you yeah. guys might as well be doing some sort of exercising. Even if you don't have weights. We've talked about different things. You guys can do different push-ups, different ways of doing these push-ups, incline, decline push-ups. So there's a lot of different things. Sit-ups, you know, I was talking to somebody today, Antonio is on there right now, and he's saying, you know, the gyms are down. So I'm like, listen, do something that you guys want to work on right now. In his area, he want to work on abs. I'm like, listen, yeah. crank out lower leg lifts, abs, crunches, do as much as possibly as you guys can. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and also, too, guys, I see a lot of times people are, they're just trying to just do push-ups and sit-ups. If you need weight, yep. the best place to get weights right now or dumbbells or free weights is offer up. Okay. Craigslist has some stuff. A lot of these stores are selling out. I know Walmart's one of the stores that's oh, still yeah. open. They're selling out. Even Walmart's selling out, which is crazy because Walmart doesn't really sell out of fitness stuff often. I, know. I mean, people are are really regulars at Walmart don't really are even really into it like that. Even though I'm a regular at Walmart. Yeah, yeah. man. I mean, but, listen, all the places are right yeah, now. Yeah, they're all. But, I mean, offer up is the best way to do it. People are selling locally. People are looking to get rid of this stuff. Mm -hmm. They know that it's crunch time stuff goes quick. Yep. I was actually on there a couple of days ago trying to get a 100 pair of a uh, hundred pound dumbbells told the guy I'll definitely take them and I literally went back to get his address and they were already gone wow so if you guys see it on there get it quick you can get dumbbells you can get uh, bands you can get jump ropes you can even get barbells depending on how much space you have they're even good cheap gym equipment if you have a garage or a back patio or something absolutely. offer up is where to get it at guys absolutely so, where to give so it check out offer up check out some of these different sites make sure you guys are being safe when you guys are going to go meet with somebody too as well yeah. especially if you're a girl make sure that hey listen you have somebody at least coming with you, and, and just make sure you guys are safe with that too, because times like these are crazy. Yeah, you know, yeah, there's definitely. definitely. I was talking to some people at Tampa PD, and here actually break-ins have went up right now. Yeah, I was actually I was actually at the stoplight yesterday, and I saw Rome, Jerome. Shout out to Jerome. Oh yeah, Tampa PD, and I was actually asking him how it's going. He said home invasions are getting it's getting crazy yes, right now. Yes, you guys got to be careful, especially with people getting mad because they're not working. Yeah, absolutely, they're mad because they're not getting that money. Yeah, so looking for alternatives, just be safe. Yeah. I mean, people are just traveling out for nothing these days. I mean, I talked to a and couple of people that, that that work at the dispensaries, right? Yeah, yeah. And people are putting in pre-orders for like a pre-rolled, like one pre-rolled, like 
joint or something like that yeah. coming up there just so they can get out of the house and they can do something yeah, that's just, essential. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, yeah. you know, it's something uh, to do. It's something to do, yeah. you know. I mean, you guys, listen, do something that's going to benefit you guys yeah. uh, and don't be that person that's been sitting on the couch for the last couple of years and that's what you're going to be doing through this time yeah. too. And just because you're home doesn't mean you have to breathe in the same inside air. Yeah. If you're at home, open windows. Even It's not even about the temperature thing. Just get some fresh air. Get some circulation going through your house. Yeah. Open up the sliding glass door if you can get yeah. a draft going or whatever. Or even step outside to the porch or whatever once in a while. Yeah. Don't just stay cooped up. I have to be inside. I have no. to be inside. If you want to distance yourself and be home, that's fine. Yeah. But stay on the porch. You know, go on the porch. Get yeah. some air. Don't get just fresh stay air. cooped up. Absolutely. It's good for your mind too. A lot of people are working from home. Yep. If you if you brought your desk to your home, if your office is at your home now, and you're on the uh, if you're on the keyboard all day long just sitting there, when you have a break, step outside in the driveway, you know, walk around the neighborhood or the yard or something. Yep. Get away. Cause if you're just at home all day long, yep. and then you're at work working from home all day long, and then you stay home because you can't go anywhere. After the days and days, it's gonna, not only it's going to take a toll on your body, yep. it's going to take a toll on your mind and yep. your immune system. So get yep. some fresh air. Yep. Mental mental health is big right now. Okay, and getting sunlight is scientifically proven. To enhance your mood, to make you feel better, and being in dark places for long, ex expended periods of time will cause depression or deep, dark thoughts. So you guys don't want that, especially right now, guys. Mental health and physical health go hand in hand. Chad, get with us, man. We'll definitely help you guys out. We'll help you out. And whatever you guys need around the country as far as medical service-wise, and if you guys are in the area... You guys can come in for an IV, an immune system, energy boosting. Oh, I mean, there's a lot of different things you can put in the IVs. Um, also, we're going to do a shot clinic. So it's going to be an injection clinic where you get injectable vitamin C, injectable zinc. I know you guys have heard a lot about this lately. Yeah. Um, you guys can get injectable branch chain amino acids, uh, a lot of different vitamins and amino acids that we do. We're going to be doing it all next week. Ten bucks for a single injection. Cheap. Right, 25 if you want to double. So if you want to put vitamin C and zinc in the injectable, we can do that for you. We're going to do that for you here. We're going to be in full PPE, protective uh, equipment, so you guys will be able to be safe when you guys come in here. We want to make sure you guys are in a safe environment. We want to make sure our staff is protected as well. So if you guys want to come in for any IV treatments, blood draws, uh, vitamin shot clinic, that's going to be the thing. It's going to be very inexpensive for you guys to get an immune system booster, get out of the house, and do something beneficial for your health. So that's really where it's going to be at, guys. Speaking of health, 5G and coronavirus. Yeah, I mean, hearing this? I, I, if people out there have been affected by the coronavirus, if you guys had anybody get sick or pass away, my heart goes out to you. Yeah. I'm not saying that it's not... Um, that it can't be deadly, right? But I don't, I don't believe in all the hype. I don't believe it's as bad as what they say it is. I mean, right. if it's affecting one percent, what's the fuss about? Yeah. Um, if you guys don't know anything about five G, look into it. I'll talk a little bit more about it next week. But basically, five G is a new stuff they're installing everywhere. Right. The radioactive waves are calling cancer and causing all these problems that they're trying to relate to five G. So while the schools and everything are, are shut down, they're right. actually putting these systems in right. while everything is shut down. So when we go back. Our brains are going to be basically being fried by this 5G. Wow. It's stronger than power plants. If you have a meter, you can go to a power plant, and it will read a certain point. If you go into a 5G place, it's like five times that. Wow. And they just made an announcement where doctors are actually calling to stop the installation of 5G because they know how harmful it could be. So I feel that, it, I, I feel that the 5G is a little bit more more serious than the corona thing and maybe yeah. they, it's the reason why they want us to focus on corona and not the 5g yeah but if you guys look at 5g and just google 5g um it's it's definitely damaging and there's a lot of people that work in radiation in the hospitals yeah where they're actually making them turn in their badges because yeah. their badges can sense radioactivity yeah so a certain hospital on the seventh floor a guy had to turn his badge in when he went to work there was armed security there he thought it was kind of funny but he had to turn his badge in. The reason why he had to turn his badge in is because radiation. that can sense radiation. Right. So if he has it on and walks someplace, it will go off. They were literally making them turn in their badges wow. because of 5G is bad. So if you guys check out 5G, see what it is, see what the harm it could do, and mm -hmm. see how it's everywhere. It's basically, mm -hmm. you don't even know it's there. Wow. If you walk into a, they're putting it into schools right now because the schools are shut yep. down. Yep. They're putting it everywhere right now. So what happens is they keep us distracted with this corona thing, and they're... No one can go anywhere. No one can go anywhere. But then there's only a certain place where they're installing it. They're installing wow. it in all the schools right now. Wow. So I don't know if you guys can Google it. You can look more into it. But 
definitely check out the 5G thing. It's more serious to me than this Corona thing. I'll have to look into it, too, because that, that's that's some pretty big points yeah. you're bringing up. So coronavirus, let's talk about this. And for I, IV, we don't we can't do IV and IGF and IV. Sorry, I wish. Uh, awesome, Chad. Listen, just give us a call or text. We'll take care of you, and you got you can be pretty much anywhere you want, and we can definitely do it. We don't. I don't. We might be able to ship to Guam because it might be a U.S. territory. Mm. So just give us a call or text about that. I think Puerto we, Rico's good. Though. Yeah, Puerto, Puerto Rico's, Rico's good. good. Um, you know, if you're an APO, so if you're a military and you're out of the country, APO addresses still work. Really? Yeah, absolutely. I didn't know I didn't know so that. if you're a military, we're taking care of you guys, making sure you guys are healthy and fit and performing at your very best out there because it's still dangerous as hell out there for you guys. So we want to be able to protect you guys, make sure you guys are at your very, very best. And with the coronavirus, so we've heard a lot of talk. We know that there's screenings going on for the coronavirus right now, right? Yeah. And they can test you and see if you have coronavirus. Mm -hmm. But the big thing is, right now, and they just rolled it out with Abbott, the FDA, and there's a couple other places that are rolling this test out, are the antibody tests. Mm -hmm. So, what this test will test for, and Titan Medical Center will have these tests in, I think, about a week. Mm -hmm. So, we've already, we've already made contact with the distributors. We're going to get them here. So, what it will tell us is this. It will tell you if you have already got the antibodies to coronavirus. And this will, in turn, tell you that you can go out and not be infected by the coronavirus. The big thing about this is that if a medical professional is scared every day and they have to wear PPE every day with every patient and take it off and put it back on, if they have these immunities, they won't, they won't have to wear it. And you, as me and Drew, if we have the antibodies, that means that we can start getting this economy back. And it's been a big thing right now. So they, they, they talked about it yesterday, and they rolled it out yesterday, talking about how Abbott will have it out in the streets next mm -hmm. week. We've already got our distributor online for this. So we will have these tests, and, and we're going to be doing them in-house. I know I'm going to test for myself because I think that me, Sharice, my family already got coronavirus, and this is months ago. We were down in Miami for the Super Bowl, um, and at that point, listen, there were a lot of people that sick. came back sick. I was sick. Right? The one time you guys didn't see me here, I was I was beyond sick. Beyond so, sick. And, about and that don't happen all. usually with you. Yeah. I, and I, I've only been, this is my first time being sick the whole year. So wow. I don't so, really get sick like that. Guys, so this is going to be a game changer. They're talking about rolling it out all around the country. And at that point, we can at least see who's been exposed to it, who has the antibodies, because they have other treatments going on, plasma treatments, where they're taking plasma from people that have already recovered from coronavirus, yeah. the antibodies, and injecting it into the people that have coronavirus right now. Yeah, actually, Amanda's sister is actually, she works yes. on that plasma. She was actually, like, Amanda was actually telling me a little bit about what, very cool I don't really stuff. know the details of it, but yeah. shout out to Tiffany. Yep. Tiffany right here. She's also um she works doing that plasma stuff. But hopefully there's some there's some, you know, advances with the yeah. plasma thing. Yeah. Too. Anything's gonna help with this thing. Yeah, they're they're starting they're starting to say that it's showing some great, great uh, research on it. Mm. So at that point it's very promising. Hopefully it's gonna work and make sense. It really does, if you think about it. Uh, how do you protect yourself from 5G? We don't know yet. We'll yeah. look into this more, and we'll discuss this next week with yeah. you guys. It's a great topic to bring it's up. It's getting to be huge. Uh, it, I've been I've been reading up on it for a while now, but it's actually becoming more mainstream now. We'll see people posting about it, and more people are posting relating it to the whole corona thing. And, yeah. and the next couple of weeks, next couple of days, you're going to see a lot of people putting it out there as to what it is. But, yeah, it's pretty pretty scary. So I, I don't know if you got to see it, but I've been watching. I've been, I watch the press briefings every day, and mm -hmm. I watch New York's with Como's. I watch the president go on with the task force and stuff like that. Uh, two days ago, I was watching it. Uh, when I got out of here, I was watching on Twitter. I watched the full thing. It's two hours long. Mm. But the beginning was really, really weird. And I brought it up to Art yesterday. And I was like, listen, and if you got to see it, what they did was the first like, 20 to 30 minutes, they rolled out an advanced narcotics task force. And it was all about... The army and the mm. navy going after drug cartels and all the all the resources that they're putting in the Caribbean right now. They've already got mm. naval ships, destroyers out there. So there's a whole bunch of stuff that's going on right now around the world. You know, just because the coronavirus is here and around the world and it's a pandemic does not mean the world stops. It yeah, really doesn't. Really Our stopping. economy stopped. But things in the world have not stopped. And I guess these drug dealers are thinking, hey, listen, this is a vulnerable time. Yeah. We can get as much narcotics in the United States as yeah. possible. And uh, literally the head of the army came on there and said, we will use every resource necessary 
to destroy you and take you out from trying to hurt our country. So, you know, it's it's a big, big thing. So pay attention to some of the thing. Don't take all the news, um, you know, is 100% true. I mean, I I literally watch all the news channels, and you kind of get conflicting stories. Look at the credible research, especially we were talking about the coronavirus, medications that are out there that are helping the coronavirus and that a lot of doctors are using, hydroxychloroquine, erythromycin. They're working on a couple other antiviral drugs there's another one um with hiv that they've been using it's called prep Hmm. and this is like for uh patients that are having it's basically for homosexual patients or people that are having high risk uh, intercourse Hmm. and it's supposed to prevent you from getting hiv Hmm. it's called prep now that's that's something that will help with you know other well they're talking yeah because it's it's a virus you know so it's antiviral so they're doing some research on that but the big one out there is hydroxychloroquine and erythromycin. All the doctors are, are coming to a sense to agree on it. And the clinical trials are going right now. The FDA cleared it for off-label use to be used on patients that have symptoms. We have this for our patients. I've seen a lot of people out there that say, hey, listen, they're starting to feel sick right now, coming down with the fevers and stuff like that. If you guys need to, you guys can do a telemedicine visit with our medical provider, and we can prescribe this regimen to you guys Mm -hmm. if necessary. So just keep that in mind. If you have a loved one, a friend, if you guys come sick and you guys think that's what it is, we'll be able to tell about that. I've been having a lot of people message me about that, about that combination. And one thing you guys have to make sure that the spelling is correct on those two those two uh, drugs because yes. a lot of times it, it'll be hydroxychloroquine or hydroxychloroquine. Yeah. There's so many different ways you could spell it. Even with the ephedrine yeah. in our in our ECA stack, yeah. make sure it's ephedrine. Yeah. Make sure it's spelt right. It's not R-I-N-E, N-E yes. or something. Yes. Make sure the spelling is right because one letter off, yeah. it could be dangerous. Absolutely. So a lot of times people out there are trying to buy an underground stuff. They'll buy something underground because they think it's cheaper yep. and that's missing an E or it's supposed to have an E. That one little yep. chemical compound or whatever will yep. ruin your whole body and could be deadly. I so make sure the spelling is right if you guys are telling other people about it make sure to you know don't cut paste it before you ch- make sure the spelling right. is right right because the spelling is everything when it has to do with right. certain, certain drugs like it could be deadly or it could be helpful so just make sure the spelling is right absolutely we talked about it on titan talk tuesday don't use non-human consumption drugs yeah. it says not for human use there's a reason that's on the vial or the package you're getting it from. I know a lot of people, they, they see this stuff, they look for it online, and then there's this, there's this companies out there that are selling it, and it's like gray area type deal because yeah. they put for non-human use or non-human consumption, and people are still taking this for human consumption. Yeah. You guys have no idea where these chemicals are coming from. Yeah. You guys have no idea of a sterility if you guys are injecting yourselves with some of this yeah. stuff. I mean, is it really worth it, the extra couple bucks? I mean, I would at least have the peace of mind that says, hey, listen, if I inject this, mm-hmm. I know A, it's for human consumption. Right, right. It's been tested in a lab. It's coming from a pharmacy. Then I have some sort of safety profile on it. Yeah, because even if it is the same ingredient, it's not filtered or processed the same way. Yeah. Like if you guys are using injectables, a lot of injectable, whether anything that's oil-based injectable, if you guys are using, if you see, if you hear, oh, it's made with grapeseed oil, right. that doesn't mean you can go to Publix and buy grapeseed oil <laughs> injected into you. Because right. even though it's the same same compounds yeah, yeah. it's the same active grape ingredient seed. yep it's not triple filtered it's not you know right. y- used for that right so even if it is the same exact drug yep it, it has other stuff in it or it's not made the same way or if it's not intended for your body yep you know you're not just going to go buy it from the gro- grocery store and load up a syringe and be like yeah it's grape seed and absolutely have, it, have it, an abscess and then you'll be in <laughs> abscess and you'll be in here for or, or terminal or diet yeah. i mean it, it is yeah. what it is so it'd be like the exact same thing as all right so injectable Vitamin C, right? It's for sterile use. comes from a pharmacy for sterile use. Mm. That means you can inject it, right? Mm. But you can get liquid vitamin C out there. That doesn't mean you inject that vitamin yeah, C. Exactly. In you, right? It doesn't mean you crush up the pellets <laughs> and try to make your home brew where you're going to make it, you know. Oh, no, man. No, no. Don't do that, guys. Please. It's not worth your time. And you don't want to go to the emergency room or the hospitals right yeah. now. Had some people visit there or some people that are working there right now that I talk to daily around the country. Okay, and they're telling me that ER rooms are packed right now, yeah. and it might not be everybody has coronavirus, but everybody's sick in there with something possibly. Yeah, shout but, out to first responders, nurses, big firefighters, police officers, anybody who's going through this, yes. anybody who has to work around people. Even yeah. shout out to the people at Walmart. Yep, I mean they're around people every yep. single day. It's one of the few stores open. They're staying at the register. They have yep. people coming in and out, in and yep. out. People are stocking shelves. Gas one thing that doesn't make sense to me is. We're supposed to have this social distancing, but I can go into like, 
I went into, what was it? I was at Publix, and I went to get some egg whites, and they had the short cartons. Yep. They had a whole bunch of them. I was like, well, I'm getting all of them. Like, <laughs> finally, they have some. Yeah. And the people say, don't take us all of that. I, I, I go through that in three days, so don't sit there and say I'm buying it. Right. But anyway, so I tr I got the big, I put the short cartons back to get the big ones. Yeah. Because some guy recognized me. He's like, hey, you're a big Jew from Titan. We start talking. He's like, I got the big ones back there if you want to get those. So I put the short cartons back, but I'm sitting here thinking, my hand is touching every carton, oh, many, yeah. putting it back, putting yeah. it back, putting yeah. it back and then I grabbed the new ones and put it in yeah. the people that stock the shelves at night I mean no one's even around those people oh, so they sure. might be wiping their face and putting stuff back so Absolutely. one thing you get groceries guys you bring your groceries home grab a disinfectant wipe wipe off the cans wipe off the bottles if you have to because they're being touched all the time Absolutely. I mean people will grab a can of soda and yep. the top part oh all this God. germs going on they'll grab it straight out the box open oh. it up and drink it and they th certain things people are extra clean about, but yep. little stuff like that they're not yep. clean about. Pay attention to detail, guys. Like he's talking about these little things could help you. They were talking about the inside of the car. People wear gloves, and right, and then they go in the car with their gloves after they've touched all these different things. Yeah. They touch their steering wheel, yeah. their buttons, everything like that. Yeah. And these hold a lot of germs. Okay, plastics, metals in your car. So just be aware of it. Try to you know pay attention to these little details because. It might help you or save a family member that you might bring it back to. You might be asymptomatic, uh, which brings me to the thing that, you know, some of these people have been busted this last couple of weeks going in stores, saying they have coronavirus and coughing all over a whole bunch of food on purpose. Yeah, they should you be know? knocked up. Th those people, they I mean, knocked up. And, and they're getting arrested for domestic terrorism and stuff like that, which they should be because if they have coronavirus for real and there was a guy that went to Walmart who had it verified for real and decided he was going to go in Walmart to get, try to get everybody's sick as possible yeah, it's like it's like that piss because they have it was like the guy that had hiv and he yeah. went around and slept with like 30 women yeah, on purpose you remember that, just right? to spread it like no nah, yeah I'm that's sorry. wrong guys another thing too is real quick when you guys get home take off your clothes yep people sit down they have clothes brush up against stuff yeah if you've been out running around all day or you went to work you went to a grocery store this night you get home take your clothes off put on different clothes and take a shower because that stuff's sitting on you then you go and you lay on your couch wearing the same shirt. or your bed yeah or your bed and you're wearing the same shirt that you wore Walking around, brushing into stuff and touching people. Yeah, you sit on the park bench and then you go home and sit on your bed. It's messed up. It's like man. you gotta be. You gotta your keep shoes, clean. take them off before yeah. you walk in the house. I know a lot of people. I've seen some people walking through the whole house with shoes. I'm like, I wouldn't do that on a normal day. And right yeah. now, especially stopping on the ground, you have no idea everything you're taking in. Yeah. And you're putting that inside your house. So your home should be your temple, just like your body. Yeah. Man, keep it clean, keep it healthy, keep it good, keep it working right. All right, uh, so some of the funny things that we've seen in here uh, in the news lately. Stolen Porsche, right? So this guy is driving a stolen Porsche with 192 rolls of toilet paper. This is in Beverly Hills. Now, was the toilet paper stolen as well? I, I you no, know, I think this guy was a hoarder, to be honest with you. Or it might have been stolen. I, I can't remember. I read the, the whole news thing on it. And I think, honestly, they were pulling them over because of the toilet paper. Mm. And they, they seen that the plates on this thing were stolen as well on this Porsche. So this guy, was it really worth it, man? You're, you have a, you're a stolen yeah. Porsche, bro, and you have 192 rolls of toilet paper. I mean, come on, man. I mean, you could, you could have had anything else in there illicit. I mean, if you think about it. You're going to jail. Hey, man, what'd you get in here for? Man, I stole a Porsche 192 rolls of toilet paper, dog. Like, what? Yeah. Are you for real? <laughs> I, want to, I want to know if, if it's, like, how accurate is it? Is it, like, really stolen or... Oh, no. Like, the you know, Porsche was stolen 100%. Huh? So he literally, like, stole it. He, yeah, he was in a stolen Porsche mm. with 192 rolls of toilet paper. I don't so, know. I wonder if it was... Did he steal? I mean, did he steal the Porsche? Did they already have the toilet paper? No, they were conducting a traffic stop here. Look at it. But, I mean, what I'm saying is how did he steal it? Like, did he... Did he, did he break open and steal it, or did someone just report it? Hey, like, like did he have an oh, ex-girlfriend? I, I don't know. That, he, that she let him use the truck, and she's like, it's stolen? Oh, uh, no, Did he no, really, no. like, I, I think this guy they're literally... They're investigating. Yeah, they're yeah, still yeah. investigating. He's an idiot, though. But oh, either way, you're in a stolen Porsche, or you stole it from your girlfriend. Still, I'm sure she's going to call him, but hey, listen, I'm calling the cops on You better pull over and not yeah. have the toilet paper in there. Because, <laughs> man, you, you're you going down history for one of the dumbest crimes ever oh, right now, right? right? Oh, With, say that. They, they, they saw me rolling. <laughs> <laughs> he was rolling heavy. Yeah, that's crazy. All right, so Literally. summer is still coming too, guys. So summer is coming, and they're saying, I talked to somebody last night who is one of the general managers for a huge restaurant chain, and they're not going back and starting business till June, June 1st. So that's summertime. So right when we get out of this thing, you're going to hit summer. 
So that means you guys better be summer ready. So yeah. listen, get those abs on, right? Get them done. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Work out. Do your thing right yeah. now. Push-ups and sit-ups will at least get you lean as possible. You can put on the muscle and the mass when you get back to the gyms yeah. or we get out of this thing. Make sure your diet is on point, too, because you That's guys right. are used to burning so much calories. That's right. Squatting heavy, lifting heavy, or even on the stair mill, even you know, if you're running on the treadmill, whatever it is, you guys are used to burn a lot of calories. So even if you think you're doing your workout at home, yep. those push-ups, dips, and sit-ups aren't going to burn the calories Absolutely. like squatting heavy and then doing cardio, this and that. So make sure your diet's on point. Make sure your hydration's on point. Yep. And make sure your rest is on point. Yeah. Otherwise, oh, yeah, you're going to come sure. back and have to make up for all that bullshit. You're going to have to make up for two or three months yep. of sitting around thinking push-ups is going to cut it. Push-ups will cut it if your diet's on point and you're doing right, enough of them. Right, right, right. You know, so just make sure your diet is good. Right. Too. And, I mean, think about the prisoners, man. I mean, listen, people going to jail, and some of these people don't have weight or and equipment. And they look phenomenal. And look phenomenal. That's and they have, good. honestly, they have horrible diets. The food yeah. they're getting is horrible. Yeah. So you guys are going to have to offset it one way or another. But, like you said, put your diet together. That way it'll be a lot easier for you guys to get the results while you're in the house right now. You'll actually be able to do the things you want to do and possibly look a lot better your meals. before this. Meals, meals sounds better. People get afraid of that word, diet, diet. Oh, yeah. Just get your food right. Get your meals right. Every time I'm talking to a client or a potential client, I say the word diet. They're like, oh, diet. Yeah. But if I just tell them, you know, eat better, yeah. get your meals right, sounds better. So don't be afraid of that word, diet. Find Absolutely. out what's best for you, whether you're trying to go up, trying to go down, trying to maintain. Yep. Just make sure your food's on point. Yep, yep, yep. So, and we can help you out with that too typemedicalfitness.com is where you guys can go you guys can sign up there get meal plans all broken out for you the recipes the food everything customized to you guys and the training programs yeah so that would be a perfect time it would be a perfect what time what else are you going to do so it, you, you guys can literally sit at home and we yeah. have it laid out for you guys yeah. even at home workout yeah. so if you don't have any weights I shot all the videos for you guys so you guys can do these different things at home so you guys can get your body right right yeah, there's not too many companies that do what we do. I mean, you think about it. We do no point, no in-person appointments necessary. Right. So you don't have to come in all these times with people going places, yep. being afraid to interact. If you're one of those yep. people that's a six-foot person, you don't have to deal with that. Right. We have no in-person necessary. We service all 50 states. Yep. So all 50 states are being uh, being uh, affected by this, what's going yep. on. Yep. So we service all 50 states. And we also giving you a fitness program. We're telling you your meals. We're telling you what to eat, when to eat, how to train, when to train. Yep. So pretty much we can give you everything you need right now. While everyone else is falling off, we're coming up. Titan That's has right. everything, like literally everything. That's right. You're home. You can't. And I don't want to hear people say, oh, I'm, I always hear people say, yeah, I'm, I'm getting ready to do the Titan thing. I just haven't had time. I haven't had time. What do you mean, heaven high time? You don't have to come here. You could do it from your phone. Exactly. I do everything from my phone. Exactly. You're home right now. You could literally take 10 minutes, set everything up, and be set for months and months That's and be right. good to go. You have plenty of time. You don't have to come here. That's right. At all. Just call or text. You don't have to talk to us. You could literally just text. You can text to talk us. to us. We can yeah. set you guys up. Done. You can fill out your, your new patient paperwork online. Everything. It's you see that the links, simple, that all easy. That, stuff. Yeah. that simple, that easy. Mark Neal had a question real quick. So Mark Neal asked, he said, quick question. BPC-157, TB-500, how long after surgery to, to just start using the therapies? Use it right away. Use it right away. So you can actually, actually do this a little bit before the surgery if you wanted to, but after surgery, use it right away. It will start the healing process. It will expedite things as far as healing those wounds, get you over these surgeries faster. So I know he had one coming up, I think. Um, get it done as fast as possible. So BPC-157, TB-500, even if you guys are are having an, uh, a you know a problem right now, you're hurt or you're getting over maybe a shoulder issue, knee issue, elbow issue, you know whatever it is, you guys can use these therapies at your house too right now. Get over this so when you guys can get back to the gym, you guys will be healthy, healed, and ready to go at 110 percent, man. Yeah, it should be that better. simple. Sooner the better, man. Sooner, sooner the better. Why, why wait to speed up the process of healing? This is what it's all about, man. Yeah. Getting right right now, using this time to your advantage, being productive, and not being negative about it because it will it will actually heighten cortisol levels cortisol is a hormone in your body that will lessen or break down your immune system mm -hmm. which is going to cause more health ailments on you guys and you guys don't want that so guys think about these things try to be as positive as possible even though and possibly i know a lot of people have lost their jobs we're up to like 6.6 .6 million people yeah. apply for unemployment the highest the highest unemployment rate was in 82 and it was 300 and i want to say 350 thousand 
now is 6.7 6. million. It's crazy. That's 10 times. Crazy. Is it 10? I don't know. It's, it's more than 10 more times. More than 20 times. Yeah. Like, well, it's, it's a lot. Yeah. It's ridiculous. It's, it's, it's ridiculous, guys. Yeah, and it's going to so, go up. I mean, it's 6.7 million. The last I heard, it could be 6.8 or 9 or 7. It's going to go up. So hopefully, and I heard like... They're going to try to, because before, like, as a business, right, if we went out and we spent money at restaurants or entertainment, we could write it off. Yeah. Now, in the last couple of years, you, you can't, you can only write off 50% or hardly none of it, right? Mm. So hopefully they're going to bring that back so that will stimulate the restaurant entertainment business when we get back out and people will be able to use these funds on these different things. It will stimulate their business and help businesses get a tax write-off too as well. So if you're a small business owner or a business owner, that may be able to help you guys. Yeah, um, because those checks those checks aren't coming anytime soon. No, no. I anytime mean, you're saying April 13th yeah. for people that had direct deposit, and if you did not have direct deposit, the checks will be two or three weeks later, like in May. I heard June. I heard June the last. There's going to be a lot of unrest if that happens, yeah, man, for it's sure. So, be, and the thing is, the people that have direct deposit, yeah, usually the people that have a you know a steady income, a yeah. job, the people that don't have direct deposit, I mean, not all of them. I, yeah. I never liked direct deposit, yeah. But the people that don't have direct deposit, those are the people that are kind of not all of them, but I mean, they probably need a little bit more than people that do have direct deposit. So. I agree. Though I think it's almost backwards, but then again, how are you going to find all these people? Yeah. You know, what if their address on their license isn't the address they live at anymore? And how are Absolutely. they going to mail it? Absolutely. And then man. it's like they're going to. It's, it's going to be a mess. It's, I can't see people getting their checks anytime soon. It's going to be a mess. If it's a physical check, I can't see them getting. It. I think maybe you could go on. I, I don't know for sure, but check the IRS site. They might have a way where you can set up your direct deposit on there because yeah. you can actually set up your username and stuff like that. I've been on that website, so mm -hmm. I know exactly. You can set up a username and they verify who you are. And yeah. I think you can set up that information on there. So I would do that sooner than later if do you guys have not. Yes, do it, do it yesterday. <laughs> uh, the Titan testimonials. Keep coming in, real patience, real results. So guys, we got patients all over the country and they're still lining up like crazy. It's awesome. And they're getting results even right now, even in their health. So a lot of people have to go outside still. They might be essential workers and they still have to fight what's going on outside. And that's wanting to be as healthy as possible. I talked to some EMTs and some paramedics that are in New York. And some of these people are scared to go home because they're getting uh, they're getting basically in front of this virus, in front of a whole bunch of COVID-19 patients. Scared to go home, meaning New York, or they're 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 scared to go back to their family in New York to bring their bring it back to their family. But from here, you mean? No, no, no. I'm talking York. about people in New York. I've talked to people that are working in these hospitals mm. out there, right? They don't want to leave the hospital and go home. You mean? Yeah. Right. Oh, because man. if they go home, yeah. then they could bring it to their. And this actually happened to one one they get parent. Their test done, and they'll know. They'll know. But then they could transport. The thing with that test right. is you can still transport. That's correct. You uh, can still carry it. So at that point, what happens is is one paramedic actually went home, and he had an older, he had his dad or grandpa, I can't remember. Someone was older at home. He basically brought it home, and that guy died. Yeah. So I know some, some of the paramedics are sleeping downstairs. If they have an upstairs, they're downstairs away from their family mm -hmm. to try to isolate themselves because they don't know. Nobody knows who's carrying who's not. And we don't have enough tests to go around as far as everybody out there. So Yeah, that's what's confusing about me too because they would be like, yeah, 5,000 more people tested positive. Then they'll be like, only 300 tests available. Right. Like, where are these numbers coming right. from? Like, yeah, who, we don't know. I mean, it's only a matter of time before the right people are asking the right questions at the right time. Because For sure. I mean, I, I hear that, yeah, yesterday, uh, 4,000 people tested positive. Yeah, yeah, but then the day before that, you hear, oh, there's not enough tests. It will be, it will come down. Like, I, mark my it, words, because I've been right on a lot of these things in the last couple of weeks. You guys can go back to my other videos. Mm. This rapid test for the antibodies is going to take over everything. Yeah. And everybody's going to test for it, because you can do it in a primary care office. Right now, I had people call me up and say, hey, listen, John, I can't get into my primary care office because I'm feeling these symptoms like this and they're telling me they don't have enough tests and these tests are going for people that traveled or that are very, very like in bad, bad uh, like range right now as far as they might not need to go to the hospital. So if you can't get in your primary physician, call or text us, we'll be able to help you guys out. But these antibody tests, I guarantee they're gonna take over, man. Mm. I mean, they're, they're even talking about right now. So one country that is not in any sort of lockdown is Sweden. And yeah, they and have saw, low amounts of people that have the virus and that have died. I saw a picture in Sweden that it was an outdoor restaurant. It was packed. Packed. Like every table packed. was packed with people walking. It looked like a regular, like, 
Yes, summertime. Like a regular day. Yeah. Now, what they've said is, is they said, listen, the way to go about things is not telling people what they can and cannot do, but telling them what will happen. And that's really what, what's been going on there. So people have been more responsible. They're still working from home, most of them. Uh, they've told the people that are 60 years old and older, they need to stay home and isolate themselves. If they get sick, stay home and isolate themselves. But if you look at the news or you look at what's going on over there, it's like a regular day. Yeah. And they have the lowest amounts of people right Right now, so that's you know it's herd like immunity. Trying to install that fear in us. It's not working. Yeah, me. it's not working. It's not. And most of the people probably already had coronavirus, and a lot of people have said, "Hey, listen, I was getting sick around January, February, December." Think about how many people, because in China and Wuhan, that had been going on for at least six months. Yeah. Think about how many people came back to the United States and traveled in our international airports, mm -hmm. and how many people may have been infected at that point in time and didn't even know. So at uh, that the point, numbers, the numbers don't make sense. The numbers don't make sense. I mean, even the, I don't know if you saw the, the news clip where they had the news from Italy and then the news from New York. Oh, yeah. It's the totally same different. same hospital clip. You saw it? Totally different. Number wise, no, no, but they had a picture. It was a picture of oh yeah, the dead bodies. No, it was a picture of the hospital in Italy, and then it was the same picture oh, that CBS really? used and say it was in New York, oh, but shit. it was actually from Italy. People started calling out on it. It was Scare all over tactics. social media. And then last night, CBS went on and and, and apologized. Retracted. They, they, they apologize. Oh, we're sorry. We didn't. We made a mistake. No, they tried to use yeah. that scare tactic. This is how it is in Italy. Yeah. The news is. I don't know. Yeah, guys, you got. We, we really can't trust everything we hear on the news, guys. It is what it is. I mean, it's, yeah, it's just, there it is, is what there. it is. Apologize. So, yeah, mistaken footage from Italy. So, guys, just make sure you're credible and don't just share garbage. Make sure you're looking into what you guys are sharing or you're reading or you're believing. Okay, there's a lot of different things. You guys got to read between the lines in some of these instances and see what's really going on out there. Let's listen to our healthcare officials, listen to our government to a certain extent. Another thing is our masks. So masks, they're telling people before, CDC said, don't wear a mask. Now they're saying to wear a mask. I, saw, I brought this up last week about people should be wearing masks out there. It will right. slow down the spread. It is what it is. Why do you think that medical professionals wear masks? Why do you think that painters wear masks? It's so they don't get fumes, they don't get sickness, mm -hmm. bacteria, viral. This is why health practitioners wear masks. And you realize too, in China, China the coronavirus is like, there's no new cases, everybody's clearing up yeah. over there, yeah. and they all wore masks. Yeah. One thing you realize about in China, if you look at like a week Japan's or two- Japan's got of, the uh, smallest amount and wore the most amount of masks. Yeah, if you see like those Asian countries like two or three weeks ago, like you see them in the subway, that, Everyone had a mask on. Oh, yeah. You could spot who didn't have a mask. Yeah. Whereas over here, yep. you go in the grocery store or wherever, and it'd be yeah. like maybe two people with masks. Yeah. Over there, everyone wore a mask. We kind of learned something. It will change, guys. Watch. Everybody will be wearing masks very shortly. I promise you. I got to get a good one. I got to so, get a tight one. Like definitely got to get some tight ones. Make sure you get a filter in there, too, if possible. Uh, we were talking about today. There's different filters that you can get. So the mask will have little slots in there, too, that you can get made. Get them. Stacy Masita, who's a Titan, is making masks. So she can make you guys a custom mask. Reach out to her, Fanny Pack Stacy or Stacy Masita on Facebook. She'll hook you up. Tell her you got it from Titan, okay? You got the referral from Titan. She'll try to get out to you as fast as possible. I know she's booked up for like two weeks with masks yeah, already. It's yeah. crazy. It's good. All right? It's good. All right, talking about masks, 3M. If you guys haven't heard about 3M, so 3M makes N95 masks, and they make an abundance of them. They're making $10 million a week. Now, most of these are not what? going to the United States. <laughs> They're Five all bucks. going to other countries. Mm. So at that point, like the government stepped in yesterday because Florida actually was a whistleblower on this. We've actually ordered masks from 3M months ago and couldn't get our order. So the head of the department called 3M. They didn't deny it. And they said all the masks are going to basically these different areas that already pre-purchased these. How much are the masks? From 3M? No, I mean, like, if someone wanted to get a mask, how would they get a mask? We An N95? Hear, no, we always hear people say, wear a mask, mask, mask. Okay. Like, right now, if I want to get a mask, where do I go to get a mask? Okay, so, the be I mean, if it's an N95 mask, you guys are going to probably pay $20, and these things are $0.85 cents to produce. Um, governments are paying right now, like, if you were, like, a hospital, they're paying between 4 and and New York bought a whole bunch of them at 15 times that price just so they could have PPE. Mm. So you're gonna pay a pretty hefty price for that. Mm. The cloth mask or the surgical mask with the ear loops are probably your best next bet after an N95 mm. as far as keeping out viral and bacterial. But then the cloth mask, and then you're gonna have to get a P25 filter to put in there. I'll kind of show you guys what it looks like. I'm trying to give you guys an idea, because you always hear mask, mask, mask. So you see a cloth mask, right? So the cloth, and they're like, ah, cloth ain't really nothing. So 
if you have this little, like hole in here, basically like a little sleeve, you can actually put in the charcoal filters and they're PM25 filters. So at that point you can slide them in here and these are supposed to be changed every couple of days. And at that point you'll see when you start breathing in here, this will start getting darker because of the charcoal mm -hmm. and you'll see like it's filtering out right. stuff. So it's, it's pretty crazy. So this is your best bet. There's a ton of people out there making these. You can rewash that, you can use that. Yep, this is a rewashable re one. You guys can reuse it. Um, you guys can pretty much get these masks. A whole bunch of people are making them. Mm -hmm. So you guys can order them, make sure it's a reputable source. If it's on eBay or something like that, look at the reviews. Mm -hmm. Um, even the N95s and stuff like that, or even some of these masks that they're selling on there, look at where they're located, not where they're shipping from, mm. because the location is mostly China, and some of those people are ripping people off left and right. Okay. okay. All right, so just make sure you guys are looking at that stuff. You guys will be good to go. Um, but yeah, so try to get these masks. Try to wear them out as much as possible. Gloves, changing them, and taking them off properly, that's another thing. But basically, our country stepped into 3M and said, listen, you're gonna allocate most of these masks to the United States. And that's what it is, because our Defense Act basically kicked in, and that means the president can go into any United States business and say, you're going to do this for our country in this time of need. He did it with, with GM. That was another big one. Hmm. GM was supposed to make so many ventilators for the United States, committed to it, and at that point said, hey, oh, we're not going to be able to do it for this. They kept going back in negotiation talks. Hmm. Finally, the government stepped in and said, listen, we don't care now. You're going to make it, and this is what you're going to make it for, and this is how you're going to do it. And now GM has sent out an email saying that they're going to be doing the doing, – Ford's doing it. There's tons of companies out there that are making ventilators out the yin-yang. Mm. Uh, I even seen Elon Musk, who owns Tesla. Mm. He said he has ventilators ready to go. Mm. He will ship them free of cost. He will not charge for the ventilators, but – the caveat to that was, is they're not supposed to go into a warehouse and sit. Because mm. New York has a ton of ventilators right now. They're probably just sitting. But they're sitting right yeah, now. Yeah. They're waiting for the spike. So he doesn't want that. He wants people mm. that need them right now. Like there's rural areas that don't have these ventilators. Yeah. Or they only have a couple ventilators and they need more. And at that point, these ventilators are going to go to people that really need it in their time of need. So mm. big ups to them. New England Patriots, yeah. 1.2 million N95 masks. They had their jumbo jet fly to China, pick up the mask, and bring them back. That's awesome. Damn. Really shout cool. Out, shout out. Shout out to Arnold Schwarzenegger. What is that? Million Craft? dollars in masks. Craft. Crafted that. Crafted shout it. Out. That's good. Big shout out to him. That's the jet right there and all the masks coming yeah. off. Big shout out to him and all the people that are helping out in their time need Schwarzenegger. Another. He donated a million dollars in masks. So that's huge, man. That's huge for our healthcare providers and people that really need it in this country. And it's our first responders, too, our paramedics out there, EMTs. And even the people that are stocking the stores or around people all day, yeah. like Publix and Walmart, I honestly think those guys should have respirators as well um, because, you know... Yeah, because what if what if the food's coming off of a truck that was shipped from over from another country? I mean, even there? dealing with with patrons coming yeah. in all day, you know, you don't. I, I was in Publix over here the other day. I was wearing my N95 with glasses and gloves um, just to protect myself and protect my dad because he's one of those high risk people. Um, and literally, people had their kids in there, and not to say everybody has coronavirus, but these kids are coughing all over the place. Yeah. Not covering their mouths. Their parents aren't telling them, hey, listen, you got to cover your mouth. You know, do it some some way, shape, or form, right? Um, yeah. It's just scary. So these germs can spread very easily, and the droplets stay in the air for hours. So if I cough in the air and we're in the space, yeah. they stay in the, for hours, man. And so, the thing is, too, when he's talking about the kids being in stores and stuff like that, a lot of parents that I see, they try to be too polite and public with their kids yep. because they don't want to discipline them in the public. Oh, now man. is not the time to be polite and nope. be nice. Nope. One cough could could spread that. Yeah. So if you're like, oh, it's okay, it's okay. Yeah, I told him, I told him. No. no. Make sure that he or she doesn't cough. Yes. All that nice, be nice, and quiet down, maybe yeah. next time. No, no, no. Because if a kid coughs on me, it's, it's, it's going to be bad. Problems. It's right. bad. Right. So I'm just saying, like, you know. And, the, make sure, and if they can't, don't bring them to the store. Right. Right. Leave them at home. Right. If, they're, if they're too young to like comprehend or actually understand, yeah. and they're doing stuff, like if the kid throws a tantrum, oh, he wants to come. Who cares? Yeah, it's a health issue. It's a health home. issue. Who cares if he wants to come? I want to be healthy. And the know? thing about it was is usually you'll see people, like usually people sneeze before or cough before. People will be real nice about it, PC about it. Yeah. Or now you know, it's, it's like, like <laughs> they're going to look at you weird, man. They looked at this kid. 
Three people literally turned around and looked at the mother like, it was, I'm going to kill you. Yeah, I've, I'm, I'm, I have tears rolling down my face sometimes trying to hold in a cop. Like, I was eating some food. Everybody knows I eat real fast. I yeah. was eating right before I went on today. I'm eating real fast. Like, if I get a piece of rice or something, I'm like, I will literally have, t- I'm not coughing because I don't want anybody to think something. <laughs> <laughs> don't want people freaking out and arrest people think I had that Rona if I've got tears rolling down my for eyes. real <laughs> for real that Rona is crazy yeah. so that, that's nuts alright um, vitamin C and zinc are therapies a week injectable vitamin C injectable oh. zinc these are game changers we know that in New York they're using high doses of vitamin C in a lot of these patients and it was 1500 milligrams to be precise mm. um, uh, an IV for these patients now you can do it I am injectable mm. The reason is with the zinc, zinc is great for antiviral purposes and boosting the immune system, and it's an essential mineral. So just like an essential amino acid, Mm. you cannot get it, your body doesn't produce it, so you have to get it from an outside source, Mm. whether it be food and your nutrition might suck, Mm. so that's where the injectable comes into play, highest absorbency, Fastest transportation rate next to an IV. Yeah, you guys, 1,500, 15, we said 1,500? That's what they're doing, 1,500 milligrams of vitamin C. And one of the MLs, like the mm-hmm. vitamin C we sell, it's 500 milligrams per ML. Okay. And you can take this two or three times a day if you really wanted to. 500 milligrams of, of vitamin C is pretty so, good. So that doesn't mean that you guys can go out and buy the 500 milligram tablets. No. And take those and have it be the same thing because... No. You're going to excrete a lot of that. Your body's not going to hold it. It's going to be a lot of water. Exactly. You guys take a whole bunch of vitamin C tablets and then drink your water, drink your water, drink your water, yeah. then you're pissing it out. Yeah. You're literally losing it. Yeah. With this, you're getting every last milligram. You don't have to worry about losing it. Yeah. You don't have to worry about that heartburn because anybody knows vitamin C, Ugh. orange juice, Ugh. it's very acidic. acidic. And to take those tablets, the amount of tablets you need to take to actually even do anything, yeah. it's going to be crazy heartburn and it's cause other problems. So, yes, these injections are safe. Everything that we do, we're a full medical clinic. Clinic. We're a real medical clinic, right? So everything we do is prescribed by a medical provider, practitioner, doctor, and at that point, these come from U.S. licensed pharmacies. They have to be. They have to go through sterility testing, endotoxin testing. We got to make sure they're going to be safe. Obviously, if you're going to be injecting it and it's coming from tight medical center or for a pharmacy, it's got to be safe. So yes, and we've been doing these vitamin amino acid injectables for over eight years. Okay, so. We're not just coming out with this like right now because of the coronavirus. No. This is something we've been pushing for years, right? We've been telling people about this for years. So at that point, take advantage of some of these things that we offer. They could help you guys. They could des- definitely help a lot of people that are sick right now or people that don't want to get sick. So you want to be the best possible. I talked about you on Titan Talk. I said, if Big Drew, if we were going to send you out to war, and we knew that you were going to go fight this this evil, invisible enemy. Wouldn't we want to give you the best armor and the best weapons possible? Yeah, that's why you gave me a shot last <laughs> That's why I got a shot of vitamin C and zinc last week. And shout out to Cass, the doctor. Oh, yeah. I actually cleaned out my ears. So yes. I had a little bit of wax build up. Yep. He went in there and gave me, I don't know, what is it called? It's like called a, an ear lavage. Ear lavage. They basically went in my ear and flushed everything out. I'm yep. actually going to get another one done after this. Yep. Make sure everything's clean and good yeah. to go. But yeah, yeah. Yeah. So if you guys are he feeling like you up. guys got like uh, an ear infection, it might not be an ear infection. If it sounds scratchy in there, it's, if it f- sounds high, it could be impacted by yeah. wax. Yeah, that's what mine was. He said it actually wasn't an effect or anything. It was just, you know, I guess a natural thing over time. Yeah. The wax builds up. Absolutely. This ear, and actually, have, I've had hard hearing in this ear for like two or three years because of it. Yeah. So once it gets everything cleared out, I can't wait to go swimming again. I yeah. love swimming. I can't wait to... That's how it happened. I was actually yeah. jumping off a cliff going deep in the water. And by yep. going deep, it just clogged one time and never came out. Damn. And this side's been a problem ever since. This one's in and out, but now it's going to be better. And I can't wait to go swimming. Again. That's awesome. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Me too. <laughs> what up, T.A. Harrison? How you doing? So, yeah. So, that I mean, that's, that's a big win. Injectable vitamin C, injectable zinc. Now, we do have the oral forms of this too as well, but... It doesn't work as well. Mm. The absorbency is not as good. It breaks down the gastro tract, so you're not getting as much. Um, so that's where the benefit is with these injections, okay? And you do it with a little insulin needle. It's not a big harpoon needle. It's a little insulin needle, and you guys can do it. I am in your shoulder. Um, you know, there's different places you can do it. We'll help you guys out with it. Car text 727-389-3220. We'll be happy to go over all this stuff with you guys, okay? And next week, we're doing the shot clinic inside the clinic. 10 bucks if you want immune boosting shot or vitamin B12 shot or one of these other injections. If you want a dual one with the vitamin C and zinc, it's 25 bucks. We'll be doing them in house so you guys will be so able to. They just show up? They just show up? Just show up. What in Between what hours? From 9 to 6 p.m. every nice. day, we're going to be doing it all day. Now, don't show up at 559. 
Okay? <laughs> don't show up at 559. Yeah. Show up at 530 if you guys want to shop by 6. Okay? Don't be afraid when you come. This is a medical clinic. Yes. Everything is ridiculously sanitized. Yes. Even yes. when I come through the yes. front door, they throw masks on me and gloves and all this crazy yes. stuff. Yes. So don't be afraid about catching germs or like that. This is beyond safe. Yes. John's a clean freak. Yeah. Sharice is clean and everything. So don't be afraid to come down here. It's we're making safe. sure everything is cavity wiped and yeah. everything is done properly here so you guys are safe and we're safe because yeah. I'm worried about the staff being safe. I want to make sure everybody's taken care of here too as well. Yeah. So I think that pretty much sums everything up, right? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Pretty much it. Uh, All right, guys. So maybe next week talk about Brady a little bit. Oh yeah, uh, Brady bought his new house. He got Jer Derek Jeter's old house. I heard twenty five million that house was. Yeah, man. it's like thirty thousand square feet or something like that. Huge house, but yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be. So it's gonna be awesome. So we'll talk about more about Brady yeah, next we'll week. Talk about him next week. It'd be good. Be good. So guys. Tune in. If you guys want any of our awesome therapies, remember, we can do it telemedicine. That means over the computer, your phone, wherever you're at in the country, the pharmacy ships directly to your house. You don't got to go outside. You guys can be safe. If you guys need blood draws, you guys can still do those blood draws. Take advantage of the discounts right now that we're offering. Plus, for our vitamin amino acid visits, we had an email go out today. They're highly discounted. I think we're doing for like 25 bucks. And so if you guys want those visits, now is the time. It's good for a whole year. It means you can order for the whole year afterwards, okay? So call or text 727-389-3220. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Every Friday, Titan Lifestyle, me with Big Drew. That's right. Titan Lifestyle every Friday. Titan oh. Talk every Tuesday. And also check us out on ABC on Sunday. Oh, yeah. Titan Medical Health and Lifestyle Show every Sunday, ABC, 11 a.m. So we appreciate you guys. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Stay safe. Stay healthy out there. Exactly. Yeah, I'm tightened up. Y'all better tighten up.